this is the Provoke Brawn, and this is Corsair's PBT Double Shot Pro Mod Kit. This is a keycap mod kit with PBT Double Shot keycaps that allows you to customize the look and feel of your keyboard with ease. Now, these will cost you around £30 or $30 each, and they come in a variety of different colors that includes mint green, rogue pink, onyx black, arctic white, elgato blue, and origin red. This is an unboxing video to show you what they're like, give you some close-up shots of them, talk about the ones that I like and what I think of them and what they look like. Now, I've done a video separately on upgrading the Corsair K65 RGB Mini with these, and I'll show some shots of that later on. I'll link to it separately. But what I wanted to do is a separate video in a bit more depth and also talk to you about how you can use this with a number of different keyboards because it's not just for Corsair keyboards. It is compatible with Corsair's K100 RGB, the K60 RGB Pro SE, K60 RGB Pro, K60 Pro, K65 RGB Mini, K70 RGB TKL, the newer version of that as well. But it will also work with any keyboard with a standard bottom row with Cherry MX style switches. And so that offers up a number of different options. And I'm going to show you a bit later on with a Rockat keyboard how you can install them on that. And that doesn't even have Cherry MX, so it's an interesting option. Now, included in the box, you obviously get the full keycap set all the way up to a full-size keyboard and some O-rings to dampen the sound if necessary. This is the UK layout. Obviously, the US layout is available as well, so you will notice some differences between those two. But essentially, you get all the keys that you could possibly need for everything from a 60% all out to a 100% size keyboard, so full size, glory, and you can customize the look with these really nicely designed double shot keycaps. Now, they're obviously double shot, which means that you have a better durability and they will last longer than the standard keycaps. The design will also mean that the lettering should last longer and stay on there for a longer period of time. Also means that usually with PBT, you don't get as much of the lighting shining through the etching, I find, but actually these ones do really well. And I'll show you the RGB a bit later on and show you what that's like. But a close up shot of it means that you can see what the PBT double shot nature of it is. You have a slightly rougher texture on top and on the underside, you can actually see the two layers of it. So there's sort of a white inner housing and then the colorful outer. And so that's where you get the double shot nature of them. And you end up with a 1.5 millimeter thick keycap design, which is designed to be more durable, but also will work with a multitude of keyboards. Now, as I said, it's designed to work with a standard bottom row layout. So any keyboard that has that bottom row layout, it will work with. And they're really easy to install as well. And they also look magnificent. They're available in a variety of colors that I already said, and I'll link in the description as well as leaving more info down there so you can find out more about it. But for the setup that I went with originally, I used pink, white, and green in order to create a watermelon effect on the K65 RGB Mini that you'll see in a minute. Obviously, you don't have to purchase multiple kits. It will get expensive if you do do that. Big thanks to Corsair for sending these over so I could show off the options and show what it's like. But even a single kit can really make a difference. The color difference is also interesting. I'll show you in a second what the colors look like when they're on a keyboard. I found, for example, that the blue is one of the nicer looking ones, but also perhaps the trickiest to see the lettering on. And so I actually preferred the green or the white. The pink's actually quite nice, although I'm not a big fan of pink normally, it actually stands out quite well. But what you'll see here is with the blue elements, for example, it's a bit harder to see the lettering on it. So it's really gonna be a personal preference on which one you pick, but it does open up a world of design possibilities because you obviously have the keycaps that you have as standard on the keyboard. In the case of the K65, they're black, and then you can mix in some other colors for a simple effect, or you can go to town and have multiple different keycap colors and really create an interesting look and feel to it. And you can see, I've just installed a multitude of them here, and it looks pretty neat. And there's a variety of options open up to you. And you can see a close up of the lettering here. It's a bit hard to do what I was talking about justice, but the blue just the lettering isn't just quite as good, at least with the RGB lighting off. And obviously it's going to depend on the keyboard, but here you can see it with the lighting on. This is on the K65 RGB mini again, and you can see how the lettering shines through there. So it is a bit easier to see, but now I'm using the Rocket Pyro keyboard, which is another mechanical keyboard. This one's from Rocket, and that actually doesn't even have Cherry MX switches. 
but it has the right sort of keycap design. So that sort of cross design on the top and the amount of depth to it. It's very similar to Cherry MX switches, and that means that it will fit on here. And because this is a standard bottom row, I could essentially install these ones. So just to show you, just to demonstrate, I installed red for the most part on the keyboard. I left some black accents in there because I thought it looked quite nice just mixing up the two. But the end result is that you have an upgraded, slightly different design style. You can see what the RGB lighting shines through with the standard keys versus these new PBT ones. And you can see that it still glows nicely and looks really good. So it's an easy way to upgrade your keyboard and add a bit of style to it. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful or interesting. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching.